Good morning, folks. Keeping it quick today because I hope to get another video out this afternoon. The quakes returned yesterday. You knew about the six-pointer in Iran, but we also saw a 6.5 hit the Tonga region. FYI, the areas of Guatemala and Iran are both still active and rumbling. This quake watch will go down as the first 2013 failure with only two significant quakes within the watch period. Not enough to call it an uptick. Also, I was asked to mention that in the comment sections, other people are posting their quake predictions. we got to say some are doing it better than I am. I love these phytoplankton shots from NASA's Earth Observatory, swirling with the currents off the coast of France. I have major problems with this article. Not that I disagree with the title's premise, it's that they claim meteorites gave the moon its water, along with the Earth. When we know solar wind left water on the moon, and if Earth's water came from meteors, why did they favor Earth impacts to leave the other planets with so much less water? Either meteorites consciously play favorites, or that idea is incorrect. Lone RSOE story today is a mass swan death in Ireland. They are suspecting bird flu. In the Bay of Bengal, a major cyclone is headed straight for the coastline. The next three days are pure anticipation as the locals need to be getting ready now. Australia and New Zealand, that main swath of clouds headed for Sydney carries all the storm threat with an Antarctic chill racing in behind it. From Sicily to Serbia and north through the Eurozone will continue taking rain and thunder today. Pacific Coast air coming straight from the tropics, which is why Washington and BC broke some heat records the last two days. You remember the counterclockwise spinning low from last week headed up the east coast, while well, now high pressure dominates the center. And with this elongated line of blue H's rather than a circle, we expect and indeed see the wind in that elongated pattern, but still holding the clockwise drive. Coming to Sonoma, we see we had another gamma ray burst last night. But honestly, that is the only space weather news today. Solar wind still cooling down with no magnetic disturbance or plasma penetration. The gong shows solar umbral fields having one of the most interesting twists we've seen during a 24-hour period. We now dance directly between the umbral openings of the sun, likely with some coronal holes coming as well. Flaring has been weak for two days, but all of a sudden, the sunspots are returning. We'll start with the big guys on the northeastern limb disappointing so far as these popped the M flares a few days ago. Oddly, their little sister down south indeed popped a little CME last night. It's going east away from our planet, but it indeed appears she may have more in store and ready to show up the big guys up north. You can notice some small coronal holes here, but you should look top right for the release of a plasma filament. I had pointed this out and tracked it across the earth facing position for days. She let loose and will miss earth mostly north but with a chance for a glancing blow according to the Enlil spiral. I'll leave you with shots of our big but quiet active region. Let's send them some positive thoughts today. Eyes open. No fear at 6.15am eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.